Lady Diana, the people's princess, is symbol of hope and compassion. But beneath the surface, what did we really know about this iconic figure? Today, we're going to uncover the biography of Lady Diana and shed light on some of the mysteries surrounding her life and legacy. But before we dive in to explore this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Princess Diana, Princess Diana, the people's princess, was a remarkable figure whose life was marked by both privilege and tragedy. Born into an old and noble English family, Lady Diana Spencer was the fourth of five children to the Viscounts of Althorp. Her parents' divorce and her mother's betrayals led to a troubled childhood, but her passion for music and sports, especially dancing and swimming, provided a glimmer of hope. Despite her dreams of becoming a dancer with the Royal Ballet, Diana's height proved to be a barrier, and she returned to London to live with her mother and work in various jobs, including Manny, housekeeper, dance teacher, and assistant at the Young England Nursery School. In 1981, Diana married Prince Charles, becoming the Princess of Wales, and her life at court began. However, her problems continued, marked by the paparazzi's relentless pursuit of the royal couple and the strain on their marriage. Despite it all, Lady Diana remained committed to her charitable work and her kindness towards those in need, earning her a special place in the hearts of the British people. In 1997, tragedy struck when Lady Diana and her companion Dodie Fade were killed in a car accident in Paris. The news of her death sent shockwaves around the world, cementing her legacy as a beloved and devoted public figure. Today, Lady Diana's legacy lives on through various charitable organizations and monuments dedicated to her memory. Her life and example serve as a reminder to us all of the importance of compassion, empathy, and service to others. In conclusion, Princess Diana's life was marked by both privilege and tragedy, but her commitment to her charitable work and her kindness towards those in need cemented her legacy as a beloved and devoted public figure. Despite the challenges she faced, Lady Diana remained true to herself and her values, inspiring countless people around the world with her compassion, empathy, and service to others. Her life serves as a reminder to us all of the importance of these qualities and the impact they can have on the world. Princess Diana's relationship with her two sons, Prince Harry and Prince William. Princess Diana's relationship with her sons, Prince Harry and Prince William, was a central aspect of her life and a source of immense joy and pride for her. Despite the challenges and difficulties she faced during her marriage to Prince Charles, Diana was known to be a devoted and loving mother, always putting the needs of her children first. Prince Harry, born in 1984, was the younger of the two brothers and was particularly close to his mother. Diana reportedly doted on Harry and was known to have been a more relaxed and informal parent to him compared to her approach with William. Harry inherited his mother's charitable instincts and was known to have followed in her footsteps by volunteering at homeless shelters and other organizations. After her death, Harry became a prominent advocate for many of the same causes that his mother supported, including mental health and HIV, AIDS. Prince William, born in 1982, was the younger of the two brothers and was also very close to his mother. Diana was known to have been particularly proud of William's intellectual and athletic abilities, and the two were often seen on outings together. After his mother's death, William continued to excel in his academic and athletic pursuits, eventually becoming a pilot in the Royal Air Force. Despite their different personalities and interests, Diana was known to have been fiercely protective of both her sons and to have always put their needs first. Her approach to raising them was characterized by warmth, love, and a commitment to instilling good values and morals. She was also known to have been a consistent source of support and comfort to both boys throughout their lives, even during times of turmoil and stress within the royal family. In conclusion, Princess Diana's relationship with her sons, Prince Harry and Prince William, was a testament to her unwavering commitment to her children and her capacity to be a loving and devoted mother. Her legacy continues to live on through her sons, who have proven themselves to be kind, compassionate, and dedicated individuals, following in their mother's footsteps by pursuing charitable work and advocating for important causes. Her love and devotion to her children remain a shining example of the importance of putting family first and providing a nurturing environment for future generations. Charles and Diana Despite being under pressure to find a wife as quickly as possible, Charles and Diana do not get engaged right away. Charles first dates Diana's sister, Sarah. In this roundabout manner, Charles and Lady Diana first crossed paths in 1977, and he quickly turned his attention to her, inviting her to hunting excursions, polo matches, theater evenings, and leisurely days on the Royal Yacht Britannia. The official engagement happened on February 24, 1981, and it was also approved by Buckingham Palace. Diana Spencer's engagement ring, a white gold piece with a coarse sapphire surrounded by diamonds, is currently owned by Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, whose daughter Lady Charlotte will inherit the Diana Spencer tiara that her grandmother wore at her marriage to Carlo. Speaking of the wedding, there are a few royal protocol transgressions that occur throughout the occasion. For instance, 
The ceremony is held in London's St. Paul's Cathedral, rather than Westminster Abbey, since the more than 2,000 people attending the century's biggest wedding cannot be accommodated there. Then, without making a pledge of submission to the prince consort, Diana accidentally switched the prince consort's first two names during the exchange of promises at the altar. On the other hand, the two agreed on this final fact. When Lady Diana staged a fall down the stairs in 1981 while expecting her first child, William, the heir apparent, it was to draw the attention of her husband Charles, who believed that she had neglected to show up with his wife because he was constantly preoccupied with social engagements. After averting negative outcomes for the child, the two spouses already strained ties ease with Diana's second pregnancy and Harry's birth. In any event, the couple's royal responsibilities and duties frequently require them to travel extensively for official meetings and institutional visits. In these situations, the princess's natural style comes through. Lady Diana's attire has become legendary, particularly her go-to-red Victor Edelstein dress, which she dons eight times in her widely copied hairstyle. Diana's response to the inevitable phenomenon of custom is her social commitment. She supports a wide range of causes, even those that are far from formal institutional ones, like the fight against AIDS and leprosy. She also supports organizations that defend animals, homeless children, and the use of weapons. Her historic visit to an Indian hospice attended by Mother Teresa of Calcutta and her support for the movement to outlaw anti-personnel mines are just two examples. The exciting moments of Charles and Diana's separation and eventual divorce started between 1992 and 1996. Since 1985, it appears that her husband and his former lover, Camilla Parker Bowles, have been having an extramarital affair. In addition to her nervous system, suicide attempts, and relationship with her writing teacher, James Hewitt, she likely tries to attract her husband's attention once more. The split was declared on December 9, 1992, but Queen Elizabeth didn't demand the formal divorce between her son and Diana until after the well-known interview with Lady Diana by Martin Busher, in which the princess, manipulated by the journalists, admitted her relationship with Hewitt and acknowledged her knowledge of Charles and Camilla's acquaintance. The divorce ended on August 28, 1996, less than a year later. Death of Lady Diana The death of Lady Diana on August 31, 1997, was a tragic event that shocked the world and sparked a global outpouring of grief. The 36-year-old princess and her partner Dodi Fayed were killed in a car accident in Paris, France after being chased by paparazzi. The incident occurred in the Alma Tunnel, and while Diana and Dodi were the only fatalities, there are still many questions surrounding the events leading up to the crash. Some people speculate that the paparazzi's relentless pursuit of the royal couple led to the accident, while others have suggested more sinister motives. The accident occurred shortly after midnight on August 31, 1997, and Diana's death was confirmed around 5 a.m. The Queen agreed to a public funeral in response to the immense outcry from the public, and thousands of people attended the ceremonies at Westminster Abbey. The funeral procession inside the Abbey became famous, with Elton John singing Candle in the Wind in tribute to Lady Diana. She was buried on the family estate, Althorpe, after a private funeral. The public's fascination with Lady Diana's life and death has led to numerous books, documentaries, and films cementing her legacy as a beloved and devoted public figure. Her death serves as a reminder of the importance of compassion, empathy, and service to others, qualities that Lady Diana embodied throughout her life. Lady Diana's death was a tragic reminder of the dangers of the paparazzi's relentless pursuit of celebrities and public figures. The incident led to calls for greater regulation of the paparazzi industry and increased protection for those in the public eye. It also sparked a broader discussion about the media's role in shaping public opinion and the impact of sensationalized reporting on society. In conclusion, Lady Diana's death was a tragic event that continues to capture the world's attention. Her legacy as a kind, compassionate, and devoted public figure serves as an inspiration to millions around the globe. Her life and death remind us of the importance of treating others with dignity and respect, and of the need for greater sensitivity and responsibility in the media's reporting of celebrities and public figures. Through her charitable work and commitment to service, Lady Diana left a lasting impact on the world and continues to be remembered as a true princess of the people. Lady Diana and Dodi The relationship between Lady Diana and Dodi al Fayed was a brief but intensely romantic one, which tragically ended in their deaths in a car accident in Paris on August 31, 1997. At the time of their deaths, Lady Diana and Dodi had been together for only a few days, having met towards the end of July 1997. Prior to her meeting with Dodi, Lady Diana had been in a long-term relationship with heart surgeon Hazmat Khan, which had lasted for two years. However, in June 1997, Diana reportedly broke off this relationship in order to pursue a romance with Dodi, who was a wealthy Egyptian businessman and the son of the owner of Herod's department store. 
Dodia said to have become enamored with Lady Diana after seeing her on a television news report, and he quickly made plans to meet her in person. According to reports, Dodi was smitten with Lady Diana from the moment they met, and he showered her with lavish gifts and attention. Lady Diana, who had been feeling increasingly unhappy and unfulfilled in her previous relationship with Khan, was said to have been swept off her feet by Dodi's charm and romantic gestures. In early July 1997, Dodi invited Lady Spencer, Lady Diana's sister, to spend the summer on the yacht he had purchased specifically for her and her parents. This was seen as a significant gesture of love and commitment from Dodi towards Lady Diana, and it heightened speculation about the seriousness of their romance. Tragically, their brief but passionate romance was brought to a tragic end on the night of August 30, 1997, when the car in which they were riding crashed into a concrete pillar in the Alma Tunnel in Paris. Both Lady Diana and Dodi were killed instantly, along with the driver of the car, Henry Paul. The accident shocked the world and sparked an outpouring of grief for the beloved princess and her dashing Egyptian lover. Statue to Lady Diana On July 1, 2021, Prince William and Prince Harry visited Kensington Palace Gardens to inaugurate a statue of their late mother, Lady Diana. The statue, created by the renowned sculptor Ian Rank Broadley, is a poignant tribute to the former princess and a touching reminder of her enduring legacy. Rank Broadley, who is also known for his official portraits of Queen Elizabeth Ewe and the design of British coins, poured his heart and soul into the creation of the Diana statue. He aimed to not only capture the likeness of Lady Diana, but also to convey the essence of her legacy and the impact she had on the world. The statue depicts Lady Diana in a graceful pose, with her arms outstretched and her eyes facing the future, symbolizing her commitment to improving the lives of others. The inauguration of the Diana statue was a powerful moment for the royal family and the public alike. It served as a reminder of Lady Diana's tireless work in charity and her unwavering commitment to helping others even in death. The statue also prompts visitors to reflect on the value of life and legacy, encouraging them to live their lives with purpose and compassion. Ian Rank Broadley's statue of Lady Diana is a testament to the enduring power of her legacy and the impact she had on the world. The sculpture stands as a symbol of hope and compassion, inspiring visitors to continue her work and make a positive difference in the lives of others. The statue's unveiling marked a significant moment in history, as it honored the life and achievements of one of the most beloved and influential members of the British royal family. In conclusion, the inauguration of the statue of Lady Diana in Kensington Palace Gardens is a poignant tribute to a woman who left an indelible mark on the world. The statue serves as a reminder of her commitment to charity and her legacy of compassion, inspiring visitors to live their lives with purpose and kindness. Lady Diana Movie Following Lady Diana's passing in 1997, numerous films, documentaries, and television series have been produced to chronicle her life and legacy. These productions offer a deeper understanding of the late princess's character, her tumultuous marriage to Prince Charles, and her tireless work in charity. Here are some notable productions. Spencer, 2022. This upcoming film, starring Kirsten Stewart, is based on the novel Diana, The Secret Story by Andrew Morton. It promises to explore Lady Diana's life within the confines of the royal family, focusing on her struggles and the isolation she felt as a member of the British monarchy. The film is scheduled for release on January 20, 2022 in Italy. Diana, The Secret Story, 2017. This miniseries is based on the aforementioned book by Andrew Morton and offers a revealing look at Lady Diana's life behind the scenes. The series covers her relationship with Prince Charles, her affair with James Hewitt, and her struggles with the media and the royal family. Diana, The Sad Princess, 2017. This film focuses on Lady Diana's relationship with James Hewitt, one of her most well-known love affairs. The movie delves into the emotional depths of their relationship, exploring the pain and heartache that Diana endured throughout her life. Princess Diana, Everlasting, 2017. This documentary offers a comprehensive look at Lady Diana's life, her charity work, and her impact on society. It features interviews with those close to her, including friends, family members, and staff. Netflix docuseries 2017 Netflix has produced several documentary series examining the life of Lady Diana, including The Royal Family, The Real Housewives of London, and The Queen's Speech. These series offer a glimpse into the lives of the British royal family, including Lady Diana's time as a member of the royal circle. The Crown 2016 present, while the Netflix series mainly focuses on the life of the British royal family in fictional form, Lady Diana makes an appearance in season 4. Her story is told through the eyes of her husband, Prince Charles, and explores the strain their marriage put on the royal family. In conclusion, these productions serve as a testament to Lady Diana's enduring legacy and her profound impact on society. 
Through these films and documentaries, audiences can gain a deeper understanding of the complexities of her life and the challenges she faced as a member of the British royal family. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the section below. See you in the next video.